you guys welcome back to our channel if you are new here my name is alexis and i am one half of the traveling swift the other half is behind the camera we are in the beautiful city of lucerne one of the most popular destinations in all of switzerland and for good reason in this video we're going to be here for three days and we're going to show you everything you can do in the city of course but not just that we're going to go to three of our favorite mountains directly accessible in the region around. So the Schuss, Ricky, and Pilatus, everything we're doing in this video, we will be doing with the Tell Pass, which is the regional pass for Lucerne and Central Switzerland. So make sure you get that, but let's get right into it. So you arrive in Lucerne here, usually at the train station, you have all these platforms and over there you have all the lockers you can also just follow. As you can see the signs, you can follow the locker sign in case you are just going to be here for a day and you don't have a hotel but you just want to be free. This is the sign that you need to follow. So Lucerne's main train station is very centrally located. So once you exit, you'll see it's really just a couple of minutes to walk to the infamous Chapel Bridge. You can see it from the train station and we we always recommend starting your journey there. I know people are really excited to see this iconic wooden bridge. It's so key to Lucerne and it's a great gateway to explore the old town. So once you've seen the bridge, taken some pictures from there, we really recommend just wandering through Lucerne's picturesque town to start your trip. It's really small and walkable old town, but it's so incredibly charming. Lucerne is one of my favorite old towns in any Swiss city. There's gorgeous architecture and squares, but particularly the buildings have such stunning facades. So definitely start your journey here just exploring, get a feel for the city before we keep moving on and exploring everything the city has to offer. So we are arriving at the Lion of Lucerne. Took the bus, but you can also walk for five minutes from the Chapel Bridge, maybe 10, and then you're there. You have a few other things here. You have the Glacier Garden. That is also something fun to see, learn about glaciers. Then we'll go back to the lake. And this is the Glacier Garden, Gletscher Garten. It's right next to the lion that is over there. And we'll show you what it is. So yeah, we can learn about Glacier. And if you're not going to go to Glacier, just being around Lucerne, then you can uh, have some uh, some more awareness of uh, <laughs> of them. We have a few things to read. Yeah, this is uh, the Glacier Garden in Lucerne. You can see that Lucerne was under a lot of ice <laughs> cover 24,000 years ago. So there is still here yeah, these rocks that are just uh, the proof. And after the Lion of Lucerne, I recommend walking back to the promenade on the lake. This is just a beautiful place to walk in and have an amazing view on the mountains and the lake. And you're getting closer to where we are going to take our boat to go to the Pilatus over there. So we're here on the beautiful Lake Lucerne and we're heading to Alpnachstadt. Now Alpnachstadt is where you get up to the Pilatus mountain, which is an amazing mountain right outside of Lucerne and there's a lot of fun activities you can do there, including a mountain coaster. So there's two ways you can get there from Lucerne. One is the scenic route, which is on the boat, which is what we're doing. This is a beautiful cruise on Lake Lucerne. It takes about an hour and a half. Now, if you're crushed for time, you can take a train that takes 20 minutes. You won't have these views. So if it's something you want to add to the day, we think the boat is a nice way to go. You have the boat and you have a passage on the, on the street and this is where we're gonna take our funicular. So there we go. We are going to get to the Pilatus and its new funicular. So we could reserve seats for five francs each and that sort of guarantees you that you're going to be able to get on the quickest train. with the funicular here you have then a panoramic view you have lots of things and we will go back to Kriens and then Lucerne and this goes every 15 minutes and we're going to go have a little even better view from up there let's see how it is beautiful views on the top and we are almost there 
and you can actually hear the cowbells over there. Going to take the gondola down, the dragon ride down to Fragmentek, which is the intermediate station where you can hike and do the toboggan run. And then we're going to go further down to Kriens to take a bus back to Busan. Let's go. Fragmentig, which is an intermediary station to get up to the Pilatus Kulm. And at Fragmentig, they have the longest toboggan ride in all of Switzerland, which is behind me. So we're going to show you that. There's also a ropes course if you're an adventurer or you have kids that enjoy that kind of stuff. And it is so nice. You have amazing views of the lake already. And we're just really here to do that longest mountain coaster in Switzerland. So I know so many of you look for those, like those, are excited about those. So we're going to show you right now. And let's do it. Let's go down that uh that slide follow me let me waste your time You are going to take the bus number one. It's five minutes away and I think you can't miss it. So we're here in the heart of Lucerne and we are staying in the Lubo Hotel. This is a unique hotel concept, which is a small budget-friendly hotel with different room sizes, but they have a combination of dorm style rooms and rooms with kitchens and larger than that. This is a budget-friendly hotel, but you don't have to sacrifice location. It is really in the heart of the old town, which maybe you can see. So this is a great option if you're just really interested in the basics, the room, you don't need all of the frills. This hotel offers it for you. It gives you the location. It's clean. It's well laid out. You have laundry. You even have like a little breakfast bar downstairs. So let's go check it out. So for dinner, we're heading to one of our favorite restaurants in Lucerne, and that is the Rat House Brauerei. This is a brewery located right in the heart of the old town, so just across from the Chapel Bridge, super easy to get to. And they have really traditional brewery food. So you're thinking like sausages, pretzels, and of course, local beers. When I say local, I mean really local. They're all brewed in-house in copper tanks. So if you're interested in beer and you're a beer enthusiast, definitely try it here. But this is just a really casual, great place to eat when you're in Lucerne. And we are going to go to the Gooch Hotel. There is a funicular. We're going to take that Speuer Bridge here, which is a less fancy bridge than the Chapel Bridge, but uh, still very nice. Also wooden bridge. And uh, we're gonna go walk a little bit closer and see if we can get a funicular to the Gooch Hotel to have a view on Lucerne. And here you go. going to go on the other side of the lake to Stoss and do the Fronalbstock panorama hike. So you can take that bus 501, the ultimate one, and we're going to take that steepest funicular in the world. That's very impressive actually. There are funiculars every 30 minutes and we're going to take uh, this now. So we took the 8.40 funicular and the Fronalpstock Scherleff starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, and uh, so you have 13 minutes to walk around, enjoy these beautiful mountains before taking the chairlift. I think uh, we would be maybe the first ones. Let's see. Yeah. Some nice sounds for the morning. Yeah, over there. So we arrived at Fronalpstock with the two chairlift and now we're going to do the panorama hike to Klingenstock and then we'll take 
uh, chairlift down, but we are enjoying some nice views already. So you arrive here at Fronalpstock and then you can just do your panorama hike and have right away some amazing views on the lake Lucerne. So that was a great time in Stoss and the Fronalpstock. We had some clouds, but still beautiful visibility on the on the lakes. We're going back down and then getting back towards Lucerne. So I'm not in an airport. I'm actually at the Swiss Transportation Museum in Lucerne. So if you are here, this museum has all different things that you could go explore for transportation. So trucks, cars, trains, airplanes, all kinds of stuff. There's so many things that you can actually go inside of, check out. I'm so excited. Louis hasn't been here since he was a kid and we're loving it. This is just such a blast. We're gonna go check it out now. So to get to this museum from the Lucerne main station, you could take the bus six, eight, or 24 to the Lucerne Verkehrshaus stop. It's about a five minute ride. You can actually take a bus also, but that takes a little bit longer, of course. The museum is pricey at 35 francs per adult, but if you have a Swiss travel pass, you'll get a 50% discount on admissions. The museum is massive and you can easily spend a whole day. We spent half a day here and didn't feel like we covered even a fraction of it. There are exhibits outdoors, multiple buildings for indoor exhibits and plenty of interactive activities that the entire family will love. Switzerland is renowned for its transportation infrastructure and we were so impressed with how well this museum showcases that. It's definitely a must see when you're in Lucerne. And here it is. They have some outside uh, things, but as it was a tabletop with our baby, it was a little bit uh, complicated. It looks really nice, actually. So we're going to go inside and see. So the restaurant Bolero is located in the Hotel Cascado, which is about a 10 minute walk from the old town. So really easy to get to. When we saw they offered bottomless tapas and we were so hungry from hiking, we knew we had to come here. And we were so happy we did. I think it was really reasonably priced. The food was excellent. The sangria was flowing and we just had a really, really great time. So if you've had a couple traditional Swiss meals and you want something a little different, we really recommend the Bolero restaurant. It was excellent. So this is the first of the seven towers of the walls of Lucerne. You can see a few more there and you have a great view from some of them. So we're going to go in there, see if, in which we can go and uh, show you. And we are looking for the music wall. You can see there's a tower there. So you are at the right uh, place. And here is one of the towers you can go in. Beautiful. And then you can walk on the walls and have an even better view than uh, what we have now on Lucerne. So at the top you have some other cool mechanisms. A big bell, <laughs> some of the dials, and you can see, I think we are in the highest one. The wall. And you can walk uh, a good amount actually on the tour. Oh, look at this. So depending on when you're in Lucerne, this is something really cool to check out. So we're here by the Chapel Bridge and every Tuesday and Saturday from 6 until 12 in the morning, there's a huge open farmer's market. So there's lots of different food, local products, breads, cheeses, meats, flowers, lots of awesome things. So we're going to go check it out and it's amazing because it's right by the Chapel Bridge. So beautiful location, great products and just a lovely day. Very cute actually. They have even below the arcades some uh, some nice things. This is the Rathaus Brauerei that we liked and went to. So the last mountain of this region that we'll be visiting is the Rigi, also known as the Queen of the Mountains. You can get to the Rigi Bahn in two ways, either by taking the train, which takes a half hour approximately from Lucerne, or by taking a boat to Vitznau from Lucerne, which is what we'll be doing. That takes a little bit longer. It takes about an hour, but if you have the time, of course, we love boats. It's a beautiful way to experience Lake Lucerne again. And of course, if you have the Tell Regional Pass, all of this will be covered whichever way you decide to go. We just got off the boat. It was a beautiful ride. We got on in Lucerne. It's right across from the main station and we took it to Vitznau. So this is where the boat docks. And if I spin 
right around. Right behind me, you could see the Riggy Bun. So that's where you go to get up to the Riggy. This mountain is included in the Tell Pass. It's also included in Day Passes and the Swiss Travel Pass. So this is a really good mountain. You have amazing views on the lake, a slightly different angle and vantage point from the Pilatus. Just as amazing, it's just in a different area. So we're gonna check that out now. So let's go see. All right, headed to the Riggy Kulm with this funicular. beginning our ascent to the Rigi Kulm from Vietnam and the whole ride is actually very nice look at this so we arrive with this funicular we will go up of course like everyone else to the top to see the view but first you have also some very nice view on the valley you see the Zugersee. two different options to walk up to get to the summit of the Rigi Kulm this path takes five minutes, it's steeper, or this one takes 15 minutes, and it's a much more gradual incline. We're gonna do the fast one. There we go. So, we could see a little bit of Lake Luzon there. We can see Luzon over there. wonder why our mountains are so pristine it's because our cows sometimes but there's also some people that are hired to mow the lawn on the mountain <laughs> All right, this is it for us guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a blast in Lucerne and around. We have an itinerary for six days around Lucerne also and all the things to do. So if you're interested, you can have a look on the comments below and on our website. But this is it and thank you for watching. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.